Brick Lane here in East London is known for its street art, but the street art that was originally on the wall behind me has been painted over on Saturday with a Chinese socialist message, and it sparked counter-graffiti. As you can see from these images on social media, the wall was whitewashed and stenciled with 24 characters, political slogans used by the Chinese Communist Party to promote the so-called core socialist values, words that brought back bad memories for a Chinese student who goes by the name Apple. They almost put it everywhere on the street in China. To, like, it's almost like a brainwashing, and then we, we, everyone has to remember those phrases when they were in primary school. That's why we are here today to respond to that and to put out our graffiti art. She said they're contacting the artists whose work was originally on the wall to see if their artwork can be recovered. Jake, a local in the area and who used to live in Beijing, said he was shocked to see the wall painted over. This was a tribute to a graffiti artist who died and so it meant a lot to people. So for the people to come and paint over everything is really bad. Um, but then it's an interesting thing about graffiti because it's, it's temporary, someone's going to come and paint over it. I'm shocked that it happened so close to where I live. <laughs> On social media, a student posted images of himself and friends painting the wall. In it, he says, for me, this work doesn't have much of a political connotation. The BBC reported the students appear to have been issued with an £800 fine for graffiti and flyposting. Soon after the slogans were put up, new graffiti appeared, countering the message. People added words to what originally said fairness and justice, so it read no fairness, no justice and so on. Some commented it became a canvas of anti-CCP dissent. Exile Chinese author Ma Jam told us his first reaction when he saw the 24 characters on the wall. These young students don't know the history of the Chinese Communist Party because since 1949, violent revolution, the opposite of civility, has been the values taught in China. So children who grew up in that environment, as well as their parents and grandparents, all these generations grew up holding the opposite values as we do today. Human rights campaigners said they stood in support of the dissenting graffiti, with Benedict Rogers saying, I wholeheartedly applaud, support and stand in solidarity with the brave mainland Chinese who stood up against this and responded with counter-graffiti in Brick Lane. Jane Warrell, NTD News, London.